welcome back to another episode of Guess What's on the Curator's Desk. Now last week, Mike and I showed you this object, and today we're going to tell you what it is. Now first, Mike, what was your, what was your answer? Well, I had several thoughts. Mm -hmm. My first was that it was, um, it was a device used in the late 19th century to uh, check for pregnancy. Really good answer. Really good. Wrong. But, but really good. No, you're, you're close. This is actually called a uterine repositioner. And what this does is sometimes, often after pregnancy, the uterus can actually turn inside out. Oh, prolapse. In the, well, prolapse is, it can prolapse too. So an inverted uterus is where if the uterus is normally like this, it goes like that. And oh. it collapses in on itself. Sure. Um, so this can help with a prolapse or an inversion. So you'd have to insert this in the vagina. This would cup the cervix here. And here's the, I'm going to need you to demonstrate this. So I don't know that I'm built pretend, for it. We're going to pretend that your shoulder is the cervix, okay? <laughs> okay. Because this is important. That it tells you how the spring is used because it takes a lot of pressure to do this. So you'd have to insert it, Right. insert the whole hand as well. The hand, everything? Yes, the whole hand, everything. And this would be placed against the chest to push and to give steady pressure while the other hand would come in and manipulate the uterus from externally. So you have the internal application, the external application, all the while delivering uh, steady pressure from the chest. Did okay. it work? Oftentimes it did, yes. <laughs> and sometimes, no. Sometimes, no. But it's an imperfect right. science. Now keep in mind, in the late 19th century, you didn't often have the opportunity to have a, a hysterectomy, and it was a very dangerous procedure if you had oh. to get one done. So at uh, it, it all cost, you would want to try to avoid that. Speaking so, of cost, what would a procedure like that set you back? I right. really, you know, I have no, I have no idea. How much in terms would a device like this cost? A device like this would cost um, probably, I don't know, anywhere. I have no idea. I'm guessing probably under ten dollars. But who in that invented time, this device? I this one, this uterine. This is a uterine reposition. I'm not sure who invented it. All right, it. let me sum up for a moment. I didn't know what the uterine repositioner was, but she didn't know who invented it, how much it costs. I know what it is and what it does. Isn't that enough? It's your show. Whatever exactly. you say, enough is enough. All I yeah. know is there was no prize if I got it right. But you didn't get it right. So I get the same exact thing. Exactly. You get the joy of being on this amazing show. And it was joyful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. No, it was, a, it was a treat. So a uterine repositioner. Now let's see what our next mystery object is. Now this mystery object is a wax model. And that's not the mystery part. The mystery part is what is going on with this guy's face. So once again, I'm going to ask my good friend Mike, can you tell me ah! <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with his face? What's right with it? Good googa mugga. I think he's got the leprosy. Or maybe, uh, no, no, he's got. Oh. All right, well, you save it. Thing. We're gonna, we're, tell me what you think it is. We keep it to yourself for now, and then we'll do it. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. You think, I think you know? I know. Oh, okay. I know. He, thinks, he thinks he knows. So. I was close on the last one. Yeah, you were. Not 100%, but you, you're close. So, all right, you at home, can you tell me what it, it is? Post your answers to our Facebook, Twitter, or in the comments section below. And until next time, I'm Anna Doty. And I'm Mike Rowe. And we encourage you to think, think outside, outside the, the jar. jar. <laughs> nice. I pay attention. That was good.